Okay, so I'm here at Lon Lon Ranch, and now I'm... Now, this is the first side quest where you can get a bottle. There are four bottles in the game. Three are easily obtained in this game. The fourth one is kind of a hard side quest in its own, and is a little bit more difficult than the other two. Now, since we saved him, we have to talk to this guy. Yes, you're awake. Yes. Yeah, I saved you the other day. The other day. Seven years in the past. Oh, I'm gonna have to start talking fourth dimensionally a lot. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Special Super Cuckoos, yes. Hey, what the f I meant to talk to him. Yes. Okay, one landed over here. No. Okay, that was one of them. There's another one over here. No. Are you one? No. Get over here. There's another one. There's another one. Ow. Oh. There we go. Whew. All right. And with that, we actually... <laughs> oh, uh, I just missed out on some text. He actually said, Would you like to marry uh, Mata? And I'm like, Yes! <laughs> kind of missed out on that. Sorry. And with that, we actually get... If you give it to me... A bottle of milk! That's just on my diet. I like us mom on milk. Though, I would prefer Roman Chate. I kind of want to get a little bit tipsy off of magic milk. Anyways, next up, I'm going to Kakuriko Village, and I'll see you guys there for another annoying side quest that deals with chickens. Yep. See you then. Okay, I'm back in Kakuriko Village, and like I said before, our annoying side quest deals with chickens. We have to go around the village and collect all of these magical cuckoos in order to, um, give them back to Andrew, who will then in turn decide to give us a bottle. Apparently she has some damn allergic reaction where she can't touch cuckoos for some damn reason. Don't ask me. That's her. Alright. You go that way. You come with me. We're gonna go get two more cuckoos. And they're quite annoying to get. There's a cuckoo over there. That one's fine. Next one is a little bit tricky to get to. Now, you have to time this just right, and you have to land on that ledge right over here. And I got it! Sweet. Alright. I don't need you anymore. You can go back over there. Please don't jump in a hole. There's a hole over here. Right there. I don't want that, so we're gonna ignore that. Did I just say that and that twice? Eh, whatever. Let's get another chicken. Ow. <sighs> Link being stupid again. Fun. Much fun. Okay. Yeah. You, 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 you. Come here. 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 There we go. Alright, and with that, we actually have... Most of the chickens already. Oh, be like this, Andrew. One chicken. No, come here. Come here. Come, come, come on. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, alien. All right, it's two chickens. Come here. There's three. There's one over here, or should be. Where'd it go? There you are. Come here. Damn chickens. I wonder if actual chickens in real life actually respond that way after you pick them up. No, I think they would try to peck my eyes out because they want to live. They don't want to go into the fire. But chickens. 
You are so delicious. I have to put you in the fire because I must eat your substance because I like it. Ah, oh, stuff that I say. Now there's a chicken in this crate over here. Herp. Come here. No, come here. Come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here. I need you to come with me so I can get the bottle. Ugh, damn chicken. Well, they're not chickens. In this other universe, they're called cuckoos. And they're actually very dangerous, yes. How can chickens in a Zelda game be dangerous? Well, ever since the length of the past, you hit them enough, they will call all of their brothers from across the globe to attack you in unison. They are evil together. They really are. Probably the most evil bunch of creatures you've ever known. And I'll probably show that off, just because it is funny. And I'll do it in a minute, after I get the bottle. Alright, Andrew. Yes, I found all your cuckoos. We could be saving the world right now, but... I feel I have to do side quests, because that is more pressing matter than saving the world at all times. Okay. I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna have to run. Okay. One. Come with me. You. Alright. And he summons his minion. Why is Link floating? He summons his minions from hell! Ah! Uh, uh, oh! What? Ah! They've come to take my soul! Ah! Oh god. I did not know they did that. God. Run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. I don't want my soul taken away today. No! No! Run! Run, 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 run! Okay. Oh, it's actually kind of scary. I thought they would take quarter health. Never mind. There's a heart. Anyways. Next up, I have to go back to Zora's Domain because there was one upgrade I totally went scatterbrained about, which I will go, and we're gonna meet another fairy again. Alright. Great. Anyways, no more cuckoo nonsense. I'll see you guys back at Zora's Domain. Okay, I'm in Zora's Domain, and you're probably asking why am I at the exit to Jabba Jabu's belly? Well, at least to the entrance. Well, where we need to go is actually in the inner part of Zora's Domain, right next to Jabu Jabu. And, uh, well, it's Zora's Fountain, but I call it inner Zora's Domain because it's basically the same damn thing. Don't judge me. I don't judge any of you. Pointing fingers at the screen. Mm. Well, it should be... Yep, right over there. Now, there's actually a hidden fairy fountain over here. Now, it is properly placed right over here near this rock. And you think, well, what do you mean? There's nothing here. Yeah, there is. You see? This rock, it's not bombable. What is bombable is everything behind it. Let's go in. And meet the ugly queen again. Ugh. Cringe. I've gotten better with the seasick. I'm not like the speedrunners where they can do in like five seconds. They're incredible. Here she comes. I'm covering my eyes. Uh, even her scream is creepy. Uh. Disgusting. It's horrible. It's the queen. Why? It's a great fairy. It's it's the servant. Okay, give me a magic spell. Uh hurry up. I'm not looking at the screen. Did you do it yet? I'm not looking. Did I get it? I just opened my eyes, yes. Alright. Fur is wind. This will the, uh, allow you to teleport through dungeons when you use your magic. It's pretty cool. 
If you're ever stuck in a dungeon, you can use Faru's Wind, go back, take your time, go heal, come back, use Faru's Wind, and then warp back to another point in the dungeon. Ugh, go away, you creepy queen. Yes, I know. I just wanted to get that spell. I'll probably never use Faru's Wind, but for those that like using it. But, anyways, I've done all I did for that I want today, and next time I will do, I'll probably be an adult immediately when I start, so more adult shenanigans and stuff of that interest. So I'll see you guys next time.